Yeah. <laughs> uh, what you sp- Yeah. Uh, what you sp- Breaking is yeah. more than just dancing. Yeah. Look, what you expect Pay There's the people, there's the culture Whether you're a music lover, whether you're a fashion guy Whether you're a dancer, whether you're a DJ or a rapper There's really so many things that you can connect with Some people can really play with the music Some people just have really cool detailed movements from their footwork As long as you feel though You can kind of just go along with the music Just be in the moment, have fun Breaking culture over its 50-ish year history has had these moments where it becomes very in vogue and it becomes very into the public eye and then it falls off. Back in the 90s, um, breaking was really big and then a lot of corporations just took advantage of that. In my opinion, I've always been treated as kind of like a backup, never really the spotlight. And it's a little bit ridiculous when it's seen as like, uh, oh, it's like a cool party trick. There's so much more to it than that, right? I mean, this project came about because of the fact that breaking is now in the Olympics 2024. Super exciting. A lot of opportunities are going to come out of this. Jarek is an artist that I've looked up to for years and years and years. I'd seen his work, I loved his work, and basically when he said, you know, I have this idea, I was all for it. Like there wasn't, there wasn't even a moment where I was like, yeah, 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 like I'll think about it. Like I was like, oh sick, okay, I'll start writing tonight. athletes was a, a runner and I just kind of asked nice. our artist Kimar how can you imitate or kind of give the same feeling as that kind of movement it just tells our story a lot stronger to have something concrete to compare it to and also just at the same time see the difficulty of what a breaker can do Cool stuff. <laughs> it's a rap, rap, chicken rap. It's a rap, rap. It's a rap, rap, chicken rap. All right. Rap. Being raised in the Philippines for half my life, and then moving here, it was really hard to find my people. I guess. Breaking has given me a place to feel safe, given me a place to let loose and just be free. It's a second family. I feel like that what makes our crew somewhat unique is that everyone approaches breaking very differently. You are expected to have your own perspective and your own style, but there is an, a, a, a very set foundation that you pull from, that you learn. There are movements that you need to have. A lot of people, when creating their style, they, they, they need to think very philosophically about who they are and what it is that makes them them. I really just wanted to connect how traditional sports like track and field or boxing or whatever, the amount of passion that we have to have in order to stay breaking for decades and whatever is going to be the same as another athlete. One thing I can hope to see is that we're going to be respected as athletes. We're going to be respected as people that were in the Olympics. Huh? I hope from the Olympics to see a whole new generation of b-boys and b-girls because it's just been us the entire time, especially here in Toronto. We haven't had much new generation of b-boys and b-girls. I've seen how art institutions are sort of founded and how they work. 
And it's going to be really important that if breaking to become sustainable as a career for people, that it's the people from the culture that create those opportunities or institutions or those platforms. That way we can communicate and be sure that we're talking about this culture in a way that is more authentic. Um, and that will get people to understand the substance behind these people and so that it's not seen as a fad. The thing is, you know, breaking for me has given so much of my identity and how I think and how I go through life where I just hope that when people find breaking and the culture and everything, hip hop, is that they can find their own voice.